much. Hey scientists, I'm in my backyard today. I know I just, we've been talking about heat transfer, conduction, convection, radiation, and we're getting into it. We're talking about popcorn and all the three ways that heat can transfer. Radiation is that first one. Many of you have probably made microwave popcorn. And microwave popcorn, remember it uses microwaves, which are an electromagnetic wave. And radiation is any kind of heat transfer that's by waves, all right? So that would be your microwave popcorn. Then uh, I did a little video before on uh, using an air popper, and that was convection, convection with the V, and convection is a heat transfer that's in fluids. And remember in science, in physics, fluids isn't just a liquid, it's anything where the particles and the, and the um, substance can move and roll freely. And that would be a liquid or a gas. So our air popper heated the kernels with hot air. If you were cooking noodles for mac and cheese, that would be convection as well too, because the hot water is heating the noodles, all right? So that's convection. Then today, um, I want to talk to you about our last way to cook popcorn. Oops, sorry. And that is with conduction. And conduction has the D. And so you can remember that conduction is heat transfer that has that directly touches something, where two things are directly touching. Direct for conduction. Okay, it's got the D. And we're going to use this little electric heating coil. If you have an electric stove at your house or oven at your house, some of them might have this kind of a coil on it. And um, this one has a little on off switch in the front and I'm just got it this way because I'm working it. And this coil heats up and we're going to cook popcorn today using that hot coil, okay, on the electric, um, it's called a hot plate. But uh, So we're going to make Jiffy Pop today and if you've never had Jiffy Pop, it's totally an adventure for popcorn. Uh, what you do is you take off this little cover part, of course it never tears it exactly right. Oh, did I just put a hole in it? Maybe. I might have to do the other one. I'm going to do the other one. you got to do it carefully. Just going to make sure it works. There we go. So you peel off this little cover. And you're left with this. It has aluminum foil, and this is uh, aluminum as well. And I'm going to put it on there. You can hear it's got popcorn in it. And we're going to get it started. Now remember, in popcorn, every single kernel has a little tiny bit of water in it. That water gets so hot that it turns from liquid water to steam and the popcorn explodes. It expands and explodes and that's how the popcorn pops. Well this has got popcorn in it and some oil and it's going to start heating up and I can just feel the heat from it. And this Jiffy Pop is really a fun thing to cook if you've never had it. Um, a lot of times we have it over the campfire but then that'd be radiant so I can't do it on a campfire for you. I've got to do it on, a, on a, where the heat, the pan's directly touching the burner. so. The burner, the coil's heating the bottom of the pan, then the pan's heating the kernels so they're directly in contact. Oh, I can hear it going already. I'm gonna start shaking. Now, Jiffy Pop's really fun. If you've never seen it go, once it starts, it's gonna go really quick. You gotta shake it so the kernels don't burn. Oh, it smells good. It's starting to smell like pop right now. There's a little hole to let some of that steam come out um, to make sure that it, it doesn't completely explode on us. Give it just a sec. Oh, you can start to hear it pop. So again, the heat of the coil is heating the pan directly. That directly is heating the kernel sitting in the pan. And they are heating up and exploding with it. Here it goes. It's working. Yeah. And this is why Jiffy Pop is so exciting. Brought to you by Conduction. Check that out. Oh yeah. At this point you gotta listen for the pop to stop so you don't burn it. And I think we're there. Alright, I'm gonna turn this off. Isn't that amazing? Check it out! It's as big as my head! That's Jiffy Pop, but just wait. We're gonna open it up here for you. Feel that back? Probably could have popped it a little longer. I didn't want to burn it. Oh, it's just beautiful. And that's how you pop Jiffy Pop using conduction. All right, so we've had our three kinds of popcorn. Microwave is radiation. Convection is the air popper. And now the direct contact with this, so it's conduction making the Jiffy Pop. Eat popcorn. It's awesome. Thanks. Happy science. <laughs>